why in the morning and most definitely you know how we do it on tuesday the hashtag to use is hashtag entrepreneurship tuesday at y254 channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles at michelle ashira is where you can find me across all my social so keep it right here because the conversation you're about to have is an interesting one if you are more of a convention conventional person who is avoiding the farm uh pharmacy what do they call pharmacy pharmacy hapa miti ni dawa so this is a conversation for you we're looking at the herbal business space and also niko hapa kukusaidia tuko hapa kukusaidia in studio i am joined with the herbalist she is known as monica njeri she is the founder of twilight herbal products karibu sana thank you thank you so much karibu sana we appreciate you yes kama kuna kitu nimewacha kwa title yako yeah. ini opportunity yako ya kutuambia apart from what nimesema okay monica njeri anafanya nini nyingine okay my name is monica njeri na ninashughulika na mambo ya dawa za miti ni miti ni dawa mm -hmm. na monica is a mother and also a sister to some to someone okay yeah So Monica, uh ijani yako ilianza wakati gani kuhusiana uh, na Abul products? Okay. E, imekuwa nimekuwa kwa hii e field for like one year now. Mm -hmm. Na I think the next month I'll be celebrating one year mm -hmm. since I started doing the Abul. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how did it all start? Uh, when did you discover that you have the passion? Okay kwangu napenda watu sana napenda mm -hmm. sana kusaidia watu mm -hmm. and i always feel wakati naona mtu anaumia and i think i have that passion and that's why niliona ni nezaje saidia mtu zaidi ya vile venye anasaidika pale pengine and that's why nilitafuta an alternative na nikaona na izadi na habo cause I think kwenye nimetoka my parent used to do herbs sana sana. Okay. Yeah. Tubasi turudi kule kwa nyumbani basi. Yeah. Uh, how was your bringing na ulijuaje kusu ama relationship yako na herbs mm -hmm. because umesema wazazi walikuwa kwa biashara. Yeah. So uh, why ulikuwa ulikuwa involved in it? Eh, wakati nilikuwa nakuwa nikiwa msichana mdogo Every time my dad angekuwa anasema anasikia sijui anaumwa anasikia malaria anasikia nini kuna mtu tulikuwa tunaambua twende tumchunie ilikuwa na mwiba sana <laughs> ilikuwa inaitango muruba ine mm. of which ungekuja na umchemshie na mambo ya hospitali na all that haezi enda anakunywa anapona so as i was growing up nikataka kujua mbona anatumia also to my grandfather guka yangu I'll, okay ali pass last year na hajai enda hospitali amekuwa kitumia hizi madau na mkuta anasema anasikia tumbo anaenda anachukua mti mwingine inaitwa mwiri kwa wale mm -hmm. wanajua hiyo mwiri <laughs> anakuja anaichemsha anakunywa so nikakuwa interested kujua what are these na zinasaidia aje so as i was even nilikuwa concerned sana na at least kujaribu kusaidia saidia watu mm -hmm. nika nikaona the best way i can socialize na watu na nimeza kuwa of help mm -hmm. nikaona ni wasaidie na hizi madawa okay yeah. so it's clearly that you know your herbs you know which ingredients go where exactly oh, of course of course of course <laughs> nimekuwa nikifanya ninafanyaga research sana uh -huh. na kwa hizo dawa zote hata ukifungua utaona hakuna yenye inafanana na ingine. Uh -huh. because ile yenye ina, inasaidia kwa kama hiyo nguvu ya kiume uh -huh. haiwezi saidia mtu mwenye hana watoto uh -huh. unaona so hiyo haiwezi kuwa same so uh -huh. in, in every kile kyote yenye iko hapo uh -huh. it's very different <laughs> Hey, the combo your switch karibu tuingie kikuyu hapa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's look at a couple of things. So yeah. a couple of products. So yeah. to me so you've said different ingredients uh, you know like uh, different um, ingredients that are making different of product. Yeah. yeah. So mm. how mm. do you like uh, build confidence in your clients because mm -hmm. uh, kuna wenye wanakuanga very skeptical. Mm -hmm. Cuz uh, wanasema that kama ama chatu kwanza tuanze tu hapa kwanza 
mm. before we even go there okay yeah. mm -hmm. so when you kuja kwa hii uh, gastro plus mm -hmm. Hii ina deal na nini na unajuaje ingredients zake ni uh, for this purpose? Hiyo ina deal na shida sana za tumbo. Mm -hmm. Vitu kama watu wenye huwa wanasumbuliwa sana na gas. Watu wenye huwa wanasumbuliwa sana na maybe una scale tu unaguruma tumbo, tumbo imefura vitu kama hizo. Mm -hmm. Na ingredients zake haziwezi kuwa the same na hizi zingine cause mm -hmm. hiyo sasa ina deal sana na stomach issues. Ah, yeah, yeah. I can see uh, it has cypress, yeah, charcoal, charcoal yeah. papaya seeds. Yeah. Okay, so how long does it take you to, to make, take you to make like this gastroplast? It take it take time because mm -hmm. you have to fetch the ingredients. Na always but a two place moja. Mm -hmm. So you have to lazima it is ni kazi ngumu sana. Mm -hmm. Lazima unatembea, lazima unafanya research, lazima uwe mwenyewe unazunguka ukitafuta zile vitu zenye utaenda and then you unazikausha and then unasiaga una package. Okay. Speaking yeah. about kusiaga, mm -hmm. uh, do you work alone and uh, what are your tools of production? Kama kusiaga unatumia nini? Unasiaga tu na hii kisiagi ya kawaida, uh -huh. as long as zimekuwa dried up, zuwezi enda kusiaga zikiwa mbichi. Okay. So, unaenda, unatafuta mibi kwa msitu, nini, nini, uplands, uko kuna kuonga na hizi nini sana, unakuja, unazikausha. Huwezi mm. kuja tu usiage maramoja, you okay. have to dry them up. Okay, so tell us more about, then tell us, take us through the, the Maxi Plus. Maxi Plus is a very good product. Mm -hmm. Yenye inasaidia sana wanaume wenye wakona shida za nguvu za kiume. Mm -hmm. They are pure herbs mm -hmm. with no side effect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rama mesema ya kona shida ya nguvu ya pesa. <laughs> Na, inasaidia sana kurudisha hizo nguvu za kiume. Uh -huh. okay, kuna hii ishu yenye watu wame, kuna au oh, watu, si, si, sitaki kuspecialize, but watu wame kuwa nezo shida ya stress, zenye kuna mambo mingi ya stress shida mingi mm. kuna maybe shida kwa boma mm -hmm. unapata huyo mwanaume haezi perform mm -hmm. so we have maxi plus na inamsaidia inamrudisha inarudisha nguvu na si ati dawa yenye atakuwa anakunywa every day apana you only take a dose mm -hmm. and you're good to go right, for someone who is watching this conversation yeah. and they want to they're so passionate and they love the idea of herbs products mm. yes yeah yeah tunataka kuingia kwa hiyo biashara what would be your advice when it comes to this when it comes to just how to start okay herbs you have to have that passion uh, because always kuwa tu asubuhi mwezi wa mke and then you're you're in herbs because Lazima ukue na hiyo passion na lazima lazima at least okay hakuna shule yenye unaenda unafundishwa hii mm. unajifundisha tu we mwenyewe but inaringana na wewe uamuzi wako cause okay there are guys in my facebook who wananiuliza are you serious monica nawaambia yes i'm serious cause si watu wengi sana although wa to, to me wanawake wengi hawako kwa habo mm -hmm. so unaona it takes a lot of courage kukuja kuambia watu hii dawa inafanya nini na unakuwa open kwa watu ndio at least nao wasaidike wapate usaidizi mm -hmm. yeah. so when it comes to this do you need to be i believe you need to be licensed because mm. also you have to build credibility yeah because umesema you've mentioned something uh, but it doesn't apply i'm so sure like women they shy, they shy away from this yeah but in general like for potential clients mm. they need to know that it's something credible yeah. it's something that is approved and mm -hmm. i can take it so yeah. are you guys licensed and if yes how yeah. do you go about it yeah we are licensed and okay the 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 hubo the hubo section or, or the hubo sector it has to be licensed because this is an alternative medicine so you have to go through all the all the process so that you can even get the the names and the registrations mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so when it comes to this what are the expenses because when you're starting this kind of a business mm -hmm. apart from uh, uh Okay, capital is an expense. Yeah. So what do I need when it comes to tools of production, mm. expenses? Where, where, where am I putting my money at? Mm. It's not easy to start a herbal clinic or a herbal medicine because mm -hmm. it, it costs you a lot because of the research, the ingredients. 
it's a bit expensive and that's why when it comes to herbal products maybe sometimes they are people say that they are expensive but it's all because kwenye unazitoa ni gharama kubwa sana mpaka mm -hmm. ifike hapo mahali penye unaona imefika imepakiwa imekuwa registered sio raisi mm -hmm. yeah and speaking about packaging and mm -hmm. branding so how like when you're starting off yeah mm -hmm. did you have a business plan and uh, uh, what was the process of branding for you what was really important okay according to, to branding mm -hmm. ilikuwa lazima at least ujue you, you first di, unajua ile jina yenye at least uta utaeka kwa brand yako no the naming of the business yes. yeah mm -hmm. the name of the business mm -hmm. na pia okay in a, you have to have like those unaona hizo dishes zenye oh, unaandikia yes, yes, mtu yes, packaging yeah mm -hmm. mm. okay now what's what is the form of marketing strategy unatumia because i know like most people right currently we are more into you know the other form of uh, medication mm. know, the conventional way mm. so going back to tradition and all that mm. what would you say is your best to go marketing uh, strategy like what i'm doing yes, now yes yes <laughs> yeah this one of the marketing mm -hmm. <laughs> so i thank you for this mm -hmm. now pia i'm on facebook you try to talk to guys on facebook but sana sana tunataka kwenda mpaka vijijini and then una educate wale watu wenye wana at least watu aged watu wenye wako na shida kama za unajua kuna wale watu wenye wako na shida za pressure sukari na maybe yes sio mtu mzee na ako na shida hiyo ya nguvu ya kiume mm -hmm. so inahitaji sana unaingia ndani kwa watu na at least unajikommit kwenda kuwapata mpaka kwa vijiji zao mm -hmm. at least ndio wafundishe waambie hii ni dawa inaitwa Maxi Plus inakusaidia hivi unaweza itumia bado ukitumia dawa zingine zenye unatumia kama za pressure za sukari kuna watu wenye wako na hizo shida mm -hmm. yeah would you say that uh, they are very they are effective and are they safe yeah these they are very effective and very safe because these are pure herbs mm -hmm. no any added anything we haven't added anything Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Herbs from the farm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are a couple of challenges that you're facing in this form of a business? There are so many cuz mostly you deal with men. <laughs> Let me talk about Maxi Plus. Mm -hmm. So dealing with men and unauzia dawa ya nguvu za kiume it's not easy cuz unawapata hapo maybe some other others are jokers and they just want to joke around with you mm -hmm. yeah it's not easy plus also convincing mtu ati kwamba hizi dawa zitakusaidia it's it's not easy cuz hata anakuuliza naezaje naezajua aje Mm, so it take long it take what at what so you, period of time ni pole eh yeah, kwanza unampea mpaka counseling unamwambia how you go about it na uta, itafanya kazi for muda gani na unaweza itakusaidia kiaji okay yeah. what would you say there are a couple of skills that will help you build a successful herbal uh, herbal business what? like uh, skills gani ambayo ungesema kwa mtu ambaye anatazama hii mm. na angependa kuingia kwa hii biashara mm -hmm. ambayo utasema ukiwa na hizi particular skills mm. zitakuwezesha kuwa na uh, biashara nzuri katika sekta ya ya herbal products mm. Mm. you have to have the know how the, the, the knowledge about herbal fast <laughs> cuz uwezi kuja upe mtu yuli max na shida yake ni ya tumbo lazima ukue na knowledge mm -hmm. first you have to have the knowledge about herbal mm -hmm. yeah okay so how have you guys been keeping afloat during this time of covid and do you work alone or no. do you have a team i have a team <laughs> of how many <laughs> like three three guys uh -huh. yeah so how, how have you guys been keeping afloat during the time of covid it's it's, it's not easy mm -hmm. yeah hiyo wakati ya covid haizakuwa rahisi sana mm -hmm. cuz no unaona mtu ni mgonjwa mgonjwa kabisa but hata yeye mwenyewe ameshindwa atafanya aje mm -hmm. to some extent unajipata alikuwa alikuwa ni mteja wako so unagaramika hata we mwenyewe unamsaidia kwa sasa amefika mahali haizi acha dawa mm -hmm. na hana pesa mm -hmm. so inabidi hata saa zingine unamsaidia tu mm -hmm. covid imekuwa imekuwa tatizo sana kwa sisi okay na kwa in your products how do you know like how much am i supposed to use like 
like money you know when you, on a dosage mm -hmm. if you go to a chemist they will mm -hmm. tell you you take this uh, particular uh, medication for uh, okay, for amount for mm -hmm. certain amount and a certain period of time okay, so kwa hiyo chupa hata mm -hmm. ukichukua utaona kuna dosage kuna mali tumeandika unachukua tu kijiko moja unachota ni powder mm -hmm. na unachota unaweka kwa glass ya maji maji nye lazima ikue warm mm -hmm. awezi yeka kwa maji baridi plus unaigojea ina cool for 15 minutes huwezi kunywa tena ikiwa moto mm -hmm. and then una sieve una chunga unakunywa you use it like two times per day okay yeah. na kwa mbao ungependa ku keep this conversation going if they mm -hmm. have any sort of questions and they want to talk to you watakupata wapi okay niko na facebook Okay, hi guys, niko na Facebook, ninajiita Monica Njeri Joroge, utanipata hapo, all Monica Njeri utanipata hapo. Na pia kwa Instagram ni Monica8506, utanipata hapo. Na pia kuna namba ya simu yenye tunatumia, ukitaka kupata hizi product zetu, ni 0794-0794-618-4. Repeat that again. <laughs> Zero seven nine four six one eight eight one eight. Uta pata na pia itakuletea tu jina ya Monica na pia huwa tunafanya deliveries. Mahali penye uko ukihitaji dawa kama hii ya nguvu ya kiume tutakutumia mahali uko na usikuwe na wasiwasi dawa tunakuletea tu mahali uko. Alright, so for the ladies make sure you you as well reach out to Monica. She has something for you guys. It's called I think it deals Femi, with the, uh, it deals with the urinary tract, yeah? Yeah. So guys keep it, keep in touch uh, and keep uh, uh in contact with monica and jerry she will be uh if you have any other questions if you want to interact with her on matters pertaining herbal products make sure you reach out to her she is the go-to person asante sana monica and jerry thank you so much guys remember at y254 channel is where you can find us across all those our social media handles uh, we have the question of the day we'll be coming back to sample your comments at michelle Shira at ramagoko be right back